What's up, Tank Nerds? Lottie here. Again, I am utterly filthy after a long, hard day at work. Um, so yeah, I'm going to fill you in on everything that we've been up to. First things first, we have the uh, trailer back. So this has been um, at the Sandblasters uh, for a couple of weeks now. They've done an amazing job. Uh, so yeah, we'll just do a quick little run through and then I'll show you everything else. Alright, so starting at the uh, toe eye. Actually, I should probably first actually explain what it is. This is what you call a 25 pounder limber carriage. So essentially what this is, is all the ammunition for the 25 pounder artillery gun goes in this trailer. Uh, it will normally either be carried um, at the end of a truck, so like a, uh, what do you, an artillery tractor, essentially. Um, you just use that tow eye there and you can hook it up. But sometimes they were the middle carriage in what's essentially like a, an artillery train. So you would have the truck would be here, hook onto that, and then it would in turn tow uh, the artillery gun. Um, we've taken that one off because these are awful. Um, so we're going to have to get new ones because if this is ever going to be towing, um, these need to be nice and strong. So yeah, um, obviously this has seen far better days. Um, but the, uh, the Sandblaster guys did an amazing job. So what are we going to be doing? We're going to be putting the wheels back on. Uh, it's more of a display piece, so we're not going to have everything going. Um, the goal is to have this done before uh, Australia Day. So basically just before the end of the month. Now, uh, sorry, <laughs> Anzac Day, not Australia Day. Ooh, nearly got that one wrong. Um, anyway... Uh, this has all got to come off basically all of these bolts along here and we need to straighten this out that's probably the most cosmetically horrid bit of metal um, on this little project uh, but yeah it's not really that bad we've got the guards the guards came back as well I'll show you them here are the guards for that we're going to take that one off, clean them all up, take that one off as well. We do have the, we'll go this way, we do have the original wheels, which are these ones here, uh, and this is also the paint scheme, can't really see it, but this is essentially the paint um, that the limber trailer will be painted. We'll go back to here and here's all the ammunition racks that go inside the trailer we'll give them a clean up but they're actually pretty good going around of course as it's not a vehicle um there's no engine or nothing to really worry about so yeah it shouldn't be a problem but yeah you can see that's where all the uh, racks for ammunition will go um yeah As Peter was just mentioning, uh, yes, there is daylight coming through the bottom. Um, yeah, it's all pretty well rusted through in some sections. So, of course, we'll have to fix some little bits and pieces. Little bits and pieces up here. But look for what it is. Um, it's actually pretty good. I'm going to get to work making all these nice and pretty. These are brass plates. So I'll clean them up. Same with the one over there. So, yeah quick little update on that one um, this will probably occupy most of our time because again we do have a deadline for this one everything else eh, we can stretch out a little bit um, obviously I should probably mention um, we've shifted stuff around so this used to be over there I've given a quick little pressure wash it's a little bit more white than what it used to be but the inside is a lot cleaner now So yeah, I gave it a good hose out, and um, yeah, it's looking loads better. 
Uh, so yeah, but this is way down on the list of priorities because uh, it is ours, it's not any client work. Um, but uh, as we go around, we will absolutely fix it. Um, right, the other, so we've got this hole. Again, we're not doing anything to it just yet. Let me sit down. We've been stripping the other hull for all of its parts. So this is the rear um, dip housing for it. Um, some of the bogies, suspensions, front idlers, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, so there's a lot <laughs> um, that we've been up to in the past couple of days. I do have videos, um, time-lapse videos and all that that I will be showing. Um, yeah, pretty groovy stuff. Let's go outside and show you the rest. So there's the other brain gun hole outside. We'll clean it up, paint it, and move it on to its next home. Uh, but that's essentially a bear hole. I think the only other thing we will be doing is pulling the uh, this shaft out. But beyond that, it is stripped. So yeah, all good. Back inside, here's our other client uh, ferret, minus the turret now, and yeah, I'll be perfectly honest, I prefer them without the turrets, like our one, um, but yeah, the, the client wants his turret back, which is perfectly acceptable. Uh, the only reason we pulled it off is so that um, I was going to do it today, but the forklift ran into a problem. Um, We'll hose it all out, clean <clears throat> everything, and it should look uh, pretty much like that one when it's all um, done clean and tidy. Uh, yeah, pretty good. Of course, we'll do a um, will it start video when we actually get around to starting this one up. Yeah, it should be fantastic. Uh, the steamroller. I'm going to keep calling it a steamroller even though there's no steam involved because that's what I like to call it. As per the last video, we pulled the engine out. This is not a high priority <laughs> um, job at all. We're basically doing this one just because, you know, we're being nice. And it's, it's a bit of Australian history and we would hate to see it go to waste. Someone was asking if we're going to refurb the front. We would like to, we will see how far we get um, with everything else before we start um, looking into doing full restorations on stuff that we're not really getting paid for anyway. So yeah, but it's, it's a groovy little thing just for the time being. We quite like it, the owners like it. Um, they're already quite pleased. Someone was also saying that we could, if we really wanted to, get the engine on it going. That is absolutely possible. Um, but we're not going to. Because again, we're not really getting like any money for doing this one. This is just sort of kindness work. Um, so we're just gonna get a new engine um, and the owners are gonna front that cost. It's just, easier for them to do it that way. Yeah, we could flip it upside down, soak it in oil and all that sort of stuff. I've done, you know, little four cylinders like this, probably in as bad a condition, but it's just not worth the time um, or the effort, really. So, um, yeah, if they want a running engine, um, they will buy a running engine and then we can slap it back in there, good as gold. Um, right, real quick, <laughs> why I haven't clean the other one. Um, our forklift suffered a major artery um, today so just had to bandage that one up because it was dumping oil everywhere. So we're gonna have to uh, fix that one tomorrow. But yeah it's um it's all coming along. We've got a lot of projects that we need to um, yeah that we need to do uh, let me just stand here and 
admire all that we've got to do. So yeah, steamroller, cut down Bren gun, clean, paint, sell, get it running, clean, paint, put the turret back on, um, get it road registered. We actually we've got to do a lot for this one, <laughs> um, a lot, all the wiring, lights and all that. So that's going to be a real groovy one. Ah, oh, that's what I completely forgot. Probably going to have to mention it on another one. Um, we found the numbers. I had them written down somewhere. Um, so this one was first issued in Victoria. Here's its numbers. Um, that's its British hull number and that's its... Um, uh, Australian number. AVN, AARN, Army Registration Number. I think, yeah, ARN. I think that's his ARN. ARN. Um, thank you very much to James who reached out. Um, he was watching the video and noticed that we didn't know the numbers. So he went onto his database and we were able to backtrack it. And we've also found out that it has its original engine. We cross referenced the hull number with the engine number which is down there and yeah so this is a matching engine to hull so it's never had an engine replacement which is really good uh, likewise Howard's we don't know how old it is just yet um, but uh, James reckons probably between 54 55 so about the sort of same age as ours ours is 55 uh, and we wrote the numbers on the side here. ARN, there we go. ARN, uh, 1955. And it was first issued to New South Wales. So yeah, the more you know, it's really good. Uh, and it is the original engine with that one too, which was that one. That's actually how we did a lot of the um, backtracking to find the information. Uh, don't know about that engine yet don't really care about that engine at this point um, but yeah nice early numbered engine for this one really good really happy so there you go I am filthy dirty end of the day just letting you know uh, what we're up to so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one um, I'm really fuzzy I would do a more in-depth video which I will do in my next video um, yeah, this is just a gremlin brain video. I'm just running through everything that comes to mind. Enjoy the rest of your day and leave a comment down below. Um, let me know what you think. Bye.